Well, we are starting off your work week with some more clouds and foggy conditions out there for you. And also that lake breeze is going to continue to keep us a little bit cooler as we head throughout the start of your Monday. And we'll like to see another day of more clouds likely. So to look at our Perrysburg Hospital Cam, yeah, still seeing that dense, dense fog out there. So make sure you're uh, careful on those roadways and give yourself some extra time as you head out the door this morning. We do have a freezing fog advisory, uh, at least for uh, Lucas County, Wood County, Ottawa County, as well as uh, Sandusky and Monroe County for this morning. And look at that visibility right now. Yeah, down to three miles of visibility in Toledo, one mile in Bowling Green about a quarter of a mile in uh, Upper Sandusky for this morning. Taking a closer look throughout the Toledo Metro though. Yeah, pretty much one mile of visibility just east of the Maumee River, but places like Ottawa Hills, Sylvania, Maumee, less than a mile of visibility this morning. So that bus stop forecast. Everybody at least on time so far this morning. We'd we'll like to see temperatures near 29 degrees with that patchy fog for uh, this morning overall, but eventually as we head throughout the rest of your morning, yeah, likely going to see more fog move in and we could like to see some dense fog out there all throughout the area still right around 11 a.m. Just after about just after 11 though, yeah, it will be nice and clear as we head throughout the afternoon and evening hours. Also, as you wake up, yeah, like I said, you may have to give yourself some time with the fog, but also the frost as well. We have some thick frost out there for you, so uh, give yourself some extra time to scrape that off as you go throughout this morning as well. As you look at current temperatures, 30 degrees in Toledo, 28 in Oak Harbor, 29 in Tiffin, up in Monroe, 28 degrees. Eventually, we'll cross over into the lower 30s as we go throughout this afternoon, eventually the upper 30s as we go throughout 4 p.m., and eventually by this evening, yeah, we'll likely be back into the mid to lower 30s. So over the next four days, we're still going to deal with the 40s as we go throughout Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday would be the last day we'll see that lake breeze and eventually we see a southwesterly wind that'll make some warmer conditions for us as we go throughout Wednesday. 50 degrees, even upper 50s by Thursday. So like I said, we're talking temperatures near 60 degrees as we go throughout the later part of this week. It is going to feel nice by the end of this week as well. Let's look at your extended forecast. Yeah, still seeing that lake breeze for Monday, Tuesday. We warm up nicely by Wednesday into Thursday. We'll usher in a few showers. Won't be a washout of a day, but we'll likely usher in a few showers for Thursday night into Friday. And eventually for your Super Bowl Sunday, mid 40s. Also for Valentine's Day, we'll be right around 37 degrees, but it'll be a dry and cold one.